Nikon. Ecclesiastes um, 5 and 13. Honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of a man is his fall. Let me get this Matthew 12 and 36 right quick. Matthew 12 and 36. But I say unto you that every idle word of men, Salat, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment, man. So the scripture here is telling you, honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of man is, is his fall, man. You can, by your words, you can be looked at as an honorable man. You know, because the truth is, is, is honorable, man. But there's also shame in your talk, and the tongue of your man is, is, is your fail, man, for you boasters and braggarts. And you cast that they want to act like you, you know everything. Because as above scripture said, if thou hast understanding, answer your neighbor. If not, lay your hand upon your mouth, man. Shut the fuck up, man. Don't say, don't say nothing, man. But you know, Jake is proud. And the scriptures tell you pride uh, coming before destruction, man. So, you know what I'm saying? That's plain, man. It is what it is, man. Ecclesiastes Sirach 5 and 14. Be not called a whisperer and lie not and wait with thy tongue for a foul shame is upon the thief and an evil condemnation upon the evil tongue we go to Proverbs 19 and 5 Proverbs 19 and 5 a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaketh lies shall not escape man I mean I need to break that down uh, to you you know Ecclesiastes uh, 5 and 14 Be not called a whisperer And lie not and wait with thy tongue For a foul shame is upon the thief And an evil condemnation upon the double tongue 15 Be not ignorant of anything In a great manner or a small So and, and you know I'm just going to get this, this, this first John real quick Because man if you follow these law uh, Statutes and commandments and and you you know you submit yourself to the way Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah man. You won't you know what I'm saying you won't fall into that into that category. This first John two and twenty seven it reads, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. That him is Yahweh Shah Masiach man, who ye ignorant call Jesus Christ, our Lord, the Savior of Israel. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie. As even at, as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Go back to this last verse in Sirach 5 and 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small man. Hey, this man... Hey, the, the scriptures is truth, man. They are far, it's truth and spirit. Man, once you 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 get in get into this word and you walk this path, man, the spirit of the Lord come upon you, man, and it reveals all things right. and it's truth, man, and it's no lie. So that's plain, man. That's that's plain, brother. Yes, right. I just want to add on to that. Uh, that's pretty much it, bro, you know. She, with that, you know, I you how about some y'all shot, you know what I'm saying? Salute uh brothers, man, and children in faith, you know what I'm saying? And uh shalom to all y'all brothers, man. Ciao.